a chapter a day to brighten your way. Anything can be an idol. Hello, friends. Let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Ezekiel chapter six. In this chapter, the prophet Ezekiel will cry out to the mountains and rivers of Israel by himself, as a symbolic gesture announcing God's imminent judgment upon all of Israel. God will once again mention Israel's greatest mistake: their unbridled worship of idols. This is also a reminder to us that there are many different kinds of idols, so we need to be vigilant. Let's read chapter six together. Ezekiel, chapter six. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man. Set your face toward the mountains of Israel and prophesy against them and say, "You mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord God." Thus says the Lord God to the mountains and the hills, to the ravines and the valleys, "Behold, I, even I, will bring a sword upon you, and I will destroy your high places. Your altars shall become desolate, and your incense altars shall be broken, and I will cast down your slain before your idols." And I will lay the dead bodies of the people of Israel before their idols, and I will scatter your bones around your altars. Wherever you dwell, the city shall be waste and the high places ruined, so that your altars will be waste and ruined, your idols broken and destroyed, your incense altars cut down, and your works wiped out. And the slain shall fall in your midst, and you shall know that I am the Lord. Yet I will leave some of you alive. When you have among the nations some who escape the sword, and when you are scattered through the countries, then those of you who escape will remember me among the nations where they are carried captive. How I have been broken over their whoring heart that has departed from me, and over their eyes that go whoring after their idols, and they will be loathsome in their own sight for the evils that they have committed, for all their abominations, and they shall know that I am the Lord. I have not said in vain that I would do this evil to them. Thus says the Lord God: Clap your hands and stamp your foot and say, "Alas, because of all the evil abominations of the house of Israel, for they shall fall by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence. He who is far off shall die of pestilence, and he who is near shall fall by the sword, and he who is left and is preserved shall die of famine." Thus I will spend my fury upon them, and you shall know that I am the Lord when their slain lie among their idols around their altars on every high hill, on all the mountain tops, under every green tree, and under every leafy oak, wherever they offered pleasing aroma to all their idols. And I will stretch out my hand against them and make the land desolate and waste in all their dwelling places, from the wilderness to Ribla. Then they will know that I am the Lord. Many of you may say, "Of course, I don't worship idols." However, strictly speaking, idols refer to more than just temples or various kinds of gods. When you pursue money or material things, or rely too much on certain people and things that lead you further away from God, then it will likely become an idol in your life. So be sure to pay special attention. Let's encourage each other to regularly pray and ask the Holy Spirit to help monitor our hearts. I believe that the more we pray and the more alert we are, the more we will be able to focus on God. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please help me to always examine my heart, so that you will always be the first and the only one I rely on in my life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.